Uh, Alright guys, this is me playing Rogue Legacy for the not first time, but <clears throat> we're going to start new. <laughs> but I am loyal only to myself. All right, so there's teleporters. This door is gonna be really important later on. Journal entry number one.
treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since I'm immoral. I can't read that. I'm dumb. But rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Oh. Tonight I will get a head start on my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Interesting. That was a dumb idea. Stand while he just... Oh my god. That was my fault for being dumb. That was a horrible ending to my first guy, but we did pretty good. We got a couple of kills in there. Um, we got okay amount of gold. This happens every time you die. It makes you kind of think that like you know it's over, but all you do is press enter, and then you see who died last time, and you yeah, choose who you want to be. And they all have different things with them, like this guy has CIP, congestional insensitivity to pain, he knows no pain. This guy has ADHD, so energetic, you must move fast. This guy has OCD by breaking, like, uh, every time I break, like, a chair or a table or something, uh, I get man, or not man, MP, so... I mean, it's kind of useful. 
Uh, he's a knight as well, so that's also cool. Um, uh, I'm either gonna choose the knight or the barbarian. E BD Money Mo Ketra Tire Bites To Eeny Meeny Money Mo Uh, I'm by health. There we go. Upgrade knights to paladin. And then we'll go back. Alright, so... Every time you die, you go back, and you want to go back to the castle, which is the only place to go. Um, well, not only place, I mean, there's different places to go, but anyway. You have to pay this guy, all, and when you give him the money, you give him all of your money. But you can level up, uh, you can get to a certain point where you can buy a bunch of stuff and, you know, make that less, so that... He only takes a little bit of your money. And that will come in handy, but I'm not going to do that until later. Also, with knights, they have the blocking ability. So that's useful. This game is pretty hard. I might have that out there. Either that or I just... Well, I most likely suck a lot, but... It's pretty hard as well. Coins are really helpful. Because you use them to level up your castle, and you also use them to, um, you know, upgrade stuff. And there's a couple things I want to do, especially. Oh, cool. Let's try this. What is this? Hey there, or hi there. Let's see how good you are at, at your skills. You only get one shot, but it's free of charge. If you succeed, you, I'll give you a nice reward. Get five axes to destroy as many ta <coughs> targets as possible. Leave less than ten standing, and I'll give you a special pry. Care to give it a try? Yeah. Why not? It's free. Alright, so W's T.
well that didn't go too well but at least we still got 390 gold anyway sucks we can't try again unless we find them later not like later this time but later after we die a couple of times Ooh. Uh, this is totally not worth it oh my god I don't know how I'm supposed to get oh God damn it. That was horrible. I did really bad there. Mage, Paladin, or Mage. I like Paladins, and this guy curses a lot and he's energetic so he moves fast so that's gonna be helpful uh... there's either the architect or the enchantress. Uh, I'm gonna go with the ten. Uh, the enchantress for a bit, cause if I'm not wrong, I'm pretty sure the there's a pretty good class here. Uh, never mind. That's just dark mages. Um. Architects, game power, lockdown, castle. Uh, I would do that, but uh, I don't know. Give me a sec. There's um, sword, helmet, um, um or boots. Let's see what we can do here. Um, this is run faster. Or dash with the Q or E. We could do that. Or double jump. Dash or double jump. How much is double jump? So it's the exact same. Uh, double jump's useful. I don't know. We'll go with this and then we'll buy dash later. And as always, we'll lose our money. Great, I'm gonna have to time this. Screw it, run back. Alright. That didn't work at all.
Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh, oh and when using the shield with the paladin, uh, it uses up MP. So, just thought I should throw that out there. I do not know what I was thinking there. Hmm. Well then. This is helpful. Service from Bell. I'm picking the knife. Uh, they have less health, but they're still pretty good. Nothing we can do with that. So, it was kind of a waste of a run, but, you know, it's whatever. This is the last run that I'm going to do, and then I'm going to go sleep. Actually, I might record uh, another video of something. I have no idea what I might record next. Oh, and for plans of what I'm planning on doing is instead of uh, Horror Tuesdays, every Tuesday it's going to be every other Tuesday. Oh, and also knives, they're, um, weaker, so, but, uh, I'm pretty sure knives give, like, ridiculous damage, or critical, so, that's that, they have weaker damage, but they have ridiculously strong criticals, if I'm right, I'm not sure. I want hopefully we can find a fairy chest by, uh, by the end of this video. And if not, it doesn't matter too much because probably won't be able to get the fairy chest because their challenges are ridiculous. Yeah, so criticals are really strong with these guys. Alright, I'm gonna break these. Hopefully they have some... We're gonna go this way just because I have the feeling that there might be a fairy chest. Yep. Fairy chest, take no damage. Um, this is gonna be pretty bad. Knew it. Screwed it up. So, pretty much what uh, fairy chests are is they have uh, a really good item in them. And all the objectives are different so it's like random and uh... if you complete the challenge then you get it and then yeah it's pretty much it it's just a good way to earn some either like money or you know some armor upgrades so yeah
and also the cool thing about this game is the map layout for like the castle and for any other place it all changes after every time you die it changes I mean unless uh, you have the architect who I'm gonna buy after this just to have him after you buy him uh, what he does is he locks down the castle if you want him to but when he does lock down the castle uh, every gold that you get on your next run will be 30% less. So as I get um, 10 coins, like 10 gold right there, it would be 7 gold. And then for 100, it would be 30 or 70. So it's pretty much just like it's a fair deal in some cases. Like if you're trying to just straight fight the boss and beat them then uh you could do that um this is a chest and of course i die i died on the chest but you know what if i can do it then this might be an okay thing the mage, definitely not. He has no traits, this guy. So, no. Uh, we're just gonna have him, because he's normal. He's cool. He's chill. Alright, so I have 200 gold. Alright, we're gonna buy the architect. And then... Let's loot up. If it is right here, no, it's upgrading the barbarian. I forgot where it is, but somewhere's the dude I want, and it's not there yet. Anyway, so I'm just gonna test him out and show you pretty much what he does. I'm like, yeah, wanna this level with a simple pull, I can prevent the castle from changing. This way you can go through exactly what your ancestors went through in persist you should be. How did I build this with science of course um and magic. Mostly magic, but my skills are free or aren't free. Wait, what? Oh, I guess if you level it up, um, then it's like 70, or 30, you lose 30% and then get 70, but when you first have them, you lose 40%, which kind of sucks a lot, but I'll do it just for you guys, also because I want to get that fairy chest, because every time you do this, or not every time, but, um, some of the times that you do this, give me a sec. Um, okay, just, sorry about that, I was checking. Every time that you do this, um, what was it? Oh, the fairy chest, sometimes it changes, sometimes it doesn't. Hopefully it changed, uh, because I don't want to go through the exact same thing that I just went through. Also, I will recommend that you play this game. If you have money, it's like 15 bucks on Steam, I think. I mean, it's not too much, but, you know, it's a pretty good amount. But it's worth it. It's a really fun game. And uh, you'll most likely spend hours on it. Like, lots and lots of hours on it. Alright, let's go try this fairy chest again. 
it did not change. Uh, let's see if we can do it. If not, then we'll die. Okay, we couldn't do it. We were close. I just messed up. Uh, most likely gonna die. Yeah, most definitely gonna die. Thank God for that critical hit. I would have been dead. Alright, let's get this chest. Hopefully I won't die. And of course I went the wrong way. Not worth it, nothing in there. I don't know why I like stared at the enemies for like five hours. Sweet, that's not gonna do anything. One hit will still kill me. Once again, critical hit was really useful. Let's open this. Um, it would have been a lot more, but, you know, since I locked down the castle, it wasn't that much. And I forgot they shoot through walls. Anyway. Uh, I think four will be good enough for today. Uh, if you want to see me do more of these videos, like more Rogue Legacy, um, let me know uh, by liking the video or commenting below saying that you want more videos. Anyway, uh, also if there's anything you want me to do, like, throw in face camera whatever while I do these videos then I'll do it anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and goodbye